Hello to you, you and you. Now this week has been bubbling with so much happenings. From Kim Kardashian feeling like a total loser, to Davido's reaction to the poisoning prophecy, and Sheyishe and Tivo Savage almost coming to blows. Come on guys, the internet has been on fire. I'm Wana Dana and I'm going to be giving you news updates on TSL on the go. Do not go anywhere. Do not forget we are still dealing with the aftermath of the Twitter ban which took effect on the 5th of June. Talking about the Twitter ban, the U.S. Department of State has asked the federal government to reverse its decision to indefinitely suspend Twitter in Nigeria. Although the Nigerian government has said the platform was banned as a result of the persistent use of the platform for activities that are capable of undermining Nigeria's corporate existence, Many have doubted the authenticity of this claim as the ban of the bed app Twitter took place after President Buhari's tweets which violated the platform's rules were deleted. The statements made on Thursday by Ned Price, the U.S. State Department spokesman reads, The United States condemns the ongoing suspension of Twitter by the Nigerian government and subsequent threats to arrest and prosecute Nigerians who use Twitter. Unduly restricting the ability of Nigerians to report, Gather and disseminate opinions and information has no place in a democracy. Freedom of expression and access to information, both online and offline, are foundational to prosperous and secure democratic societies. We support Nigeria as it works towards unity, peace and prosperity. As its partner, we call on the government to respect its citizens' rights to freedom and expression by reversing this suspension. Moving on, Meghan Markle and Prince Harry recently welcomed their bundle of joy, baby Lilibet. However, all does not seem to be so rosy at home, as Meghan's father, Thomas Marco, has hinted on exposing some of his daughter's dirty laundry. Meghan Marco's 76-year-old father, Thomas Marco Sr., has revealed that he has more to say about his daughter, Meghan, in an interview with 60 Minutes Australia. In an explosive trailer for an upcoming TV documentary, Thomas Marco Sr. hinted he has more dirty laundry to air. In a sneak preview of the interview, he makes a reference to dirty laundry. He also says he is desperate to rekindle a relationship with Meghan and hopes the arrival of baby Lilibet will prove to be a catalyst for a reunion. He said he first heard about Lilibet's birth on the radio. The 40-second preview clip features Thomas at his cliffside home south of Chihuahua, Mexico, saying he's sorry for his one dumb mistake. Thomas says, if I had done something terribly wrong, that would be fine, but I haven't. I just want an answer. He adds, I would love to talk to her. I've made mistakes. I apologized a hundred times for it. I'll be very disappointed that I don't get to hold my granddaughter. He then goes on to issue what appears to be a warning to Megan. He says, you want dirty laundry? This is the first time I've discussed these things. In the 60 Minutes interview, which will broadcast this Sunday, Thomas says, of course it hurts. My daughter and I had a great relationship. We can only hope for the best for father, daughter, and granddaughter. On another note, in Nigeria, CBN has issued a stern warning to party lovers, Owambe attendees, and every Nigerian that enjoys getting some cash flying in the air to spice up events. Spread the Naira and go to jail, CBN warns Nigerians. Condemning the rates at which Nigerians mutilate, deface, squeeze and even spray and sell the Naira notes, CBN has threatened that abuse of the currency attracts a penalty of not less than six months in jail or a fine of not less than 50,000 Naira or both. This was made known by the Assistant Director at the Currency Operations Department, Aladin Badajo, on Thursday in Abiyakuta during a CBN sensitization program. Badajo will urge the people to see the Naira as a symbol of national identity also stressed the need to handle the banknotes with care and dignity, he went on to express concern over the huge amounts being spent on reprinting them. He said, Abuse of the currency attracts a penalty of not less than six months or a fine of not less than 50,000 naira or both. Now let's dive a bit into entertainment. The age-long feud between Tiwa Savage and Sheyishe resulted to some dirty exchange of words and near blows. After being mum for so long over the issue between herself, Sheyishe, and Victoria Kimani, Tiwa Savage called out Sheyishe with some nasty verbal exchanges during a chance meeting at a saloon. 
Recall that Sheishe denied knowing Tiwa in 2016 and went on to call her an Olusho, meaning prostitute, during a fuck you challenge years back, while Kim Victoria Kimani called Tiwa Savage African grandma bad girl. In response to the saloon fight, Sheishe, during a recorded phone call interview, expressed her shock at Tiwa's reaction. Sheishe went on to disclose how she co wrote Tiwa Savage's hit song, Mr. Lover Lover, and that Tiwa has refused to give her credit till date. She also mentioned Tiwa's confrontation of a brand that signed them both. Sheishe suspected that Tiwa has been stalking her because Tiwa mocked her over her childlessness and that it is not in public eye that she has been in quest for the fruit of the womb for many years. Despite the beef, many hope that the duo settle their differences in the nearest future. That will be all for today on TSL on the go. Thank you so much for watching and I'm sure you'll be right back next week for another very juicy and entertaining time out on TSL on the go. I'm Wana Adana. Do have a great weekend. Stay connected to TSL Nigeria and get updates on the go all day, every day. Subscribe to our YouTube channel on TSL Nigeria Space TV and join our online family.